the twelfth story from the Gateless Gate. From the book Zen, Flesh Zen, Bones written by Paul Rebzuigen calls his own master. Zuigen called out to himself every day, Master. Then he answered himself, Yes, sir. You will say, Yes, sir, whether it is petrol or diesel. If your vehicle is petrol and you go and just uh, tell the petrol bar, put anything. Because it's a food court in the forum, in the. Mall of Asia, you go there, food court, you keep dumping anything and everything. And do you think the stomach is made to digest that much? You spend your money to get disease, spend your money to have an upset stomach. Then he answered himself, Yes, sir, you must make sure. What you want to do during the earthquake when there was tsunami, people were lined up in all the provision store in Japan. Not a single person bought extra, only for him for that particular time. In India, they could have grabbed it because they know that another person needs it. They can come again tomorrow and then buy it. <laughs> and after that, he added, become sober. Again, he answered, Yes, sir. Before you open your mouth, you have to speak to you whether you have a petrol vehicle or a diesel vehicle for you to even speak whether there is a need to even give an answer because majority of the questions which are coming to you are borrowed knowledge they themselves do not know the value of that question they are throwing questions for the sake of throwing it's a disturbance that there is no need for you to answer and after that he continued, do not be deceived by others. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do not be deceived by others. Once you know your strength, you have to tell yourself. Your strength means every day you have to practice your samskriti. What is a samskriti? Just simple thing. Morning when you get up, put your saliva into your eyes. It strengthens the eyes. Keeps you away from getting infected. Drink. Room temperature water, chewing, chewing the water. When you chew the water, you knew saliva mixed, chemical di mechanical digestion happens, chew by chewing. When saliva mixed, it becomes chemical digestion. So every food you chew beautifully. When you chew beautifully, your jaw moves, you have a beautiful face and you look very young. You don't have to go to a beauty parlor. And then you go and brush your teeth. You take your finger and press the gum so that the mouth doesn't stink. That you don't have dental problems. You do not have to rush up to the doctors every time. Taking the finger and pressing 15 times. Rinsing your mouth 18 times. When you rinse your mouth, you avoid cold, cough, fever. And after every meal, you rinse 16 times. And then you do the nostril bloat 30 times. Every time when you go to the right examination, Every time before you go to eat your food, your nostrils blow. So the, the pipelines are cleaned up. You yourself are telling yourself, I have cleaned up every time. Like the MTR hotel. The huge amount of people in front of Lal Park, there is an MTR hotel. It's very popular. What they sell is just vegetarian dosa. Idli. But the, the success story of that hotel is, before the breakfast, they take all the tables and put it outside on the road. Road! And then thoroughly clean, clean it up with soap. When by the time they put up the queue, it's around one kilometer long. And they do it again for the afternoon. People are lined up. Cleanliness, where there is cleanliness, there is God. Cleanliness next to godliness. We have done it every time I go to Indra Nagar. I tell the receptionist, how was the crowd? Of the crowd means donors. I'm looking for donors. They say, less. I said, please take this all out. Get the jet pipe. Clean it up. Today you'll get more people. The moment they took everything out, put in the road and they cleansed it up, people are watching. And there was huge queue of people on that day. And donation is more. Clean it up. Keep telling you what to eat, what not to eat. Tell your body. Yes, this is the weight I wanted. This is the fat I needed. When to say yes, when to say no. Once you practice you yourself as a doctor, when you become a doctor, you can teach another 10 more people. Whatever you practice, teach another 10 more people. Then as long as you call yourself master, that means everything what you do, you master it up. 
you become practitioner not a preacher when you do yourself and call yourself master tomorrow you can see when you share it with others others call you a master that's the time you have already your your stone has been polished by yourself it starts shining